Hello, I'm Hugo Patterson, uh, CTO and founder at Datrium, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about Datrium, what it does and uh, what it's all about. Uh, at a highest level, uh, we offer converged infrastructure uh, to support private, hybrid, uh, and hybrid clouds. Uh, the core element of uh, the product is, is a DVX rack scale system which uh, is shown here consists of uh, DBX compute nodes, DBX data nodes, and uh, potentially third-party servers that have Datrium software uh, installed on those servers. Uh, so it converges uh, both the compute and the storage, but also uh, converges cloud data, data management into the infrastructure as well. So traditionally, the first uh, versions of converged infrastructure included uh, basically standard traditional array, standard servers duct taped together with uh, virtualization software. Uh, the next gen had hyperconverge, which included um, you know servers just doing it all. All of those functions mashed together. Uh, inside of one kind of box. But a consequence of that is you have, as shown here, uh, all of those servers end up being pretty chatty, talking to each other uh, to uh, persist their data, right? You need to get the data out of the host to persist it elsewhere. And uh, you may also need to pull data from those other hosts. And that causes a bunch of chatter uh, and also makes it so you have to manage those servers like their storage. If you pull a host out, now your storage is in degraded mode. Um, so we try, uh, the goal here at Datrium and Datrium's uh, matrix architecture is to address that problem. And we do that by splitting the performance and the durable uh, functions into two different kinds of nodes as shown here. So pull those those disks storing the persistent data out of the hosts and into their own dedicated uh, data nodes while leaving uh, the performance in uh, the host. So by performance, what do I mean? That includes uh, flash inside of the hosts that store all of the data needed by the VMs and applications running on those hosts but it also uh, includes software which implements all of the usual uh, storage management functions of an enterprise uh, storage system. Uh, and that includes things ranging from uh, compression, deduplication, erasure coding, yeah, even the RAID stack is implemented in the host. Um, and so all of the compute intensive tasks actually run in the host but the, the hosts remain sort of independent of each other and also are not part of the durable storage. So if you need to do maintenance on a host, you're not putting your storage into degraded mode. Also, you can scale them independently. So as you add a host to a DVX, you get more performance. Every host comes with its own flash for more potential IOPS, and it also comes with more compute resources that can be applied, of course, to running the VMs and applications, but also uh, the storage management functions. Um, so every time you add a host, it's like adding a, a, a mini uh, controller upgrade uh, to the DVX system. Uh, very soon, uh, uh, in, the, in the next release, in fact, you'll be able to also scale the durable capacity. So in the DBX, you can scale these uh, independently, um, and you don't have to do it kind of all together with every node, including both durable capacity and compute, uh, as you do in a hyper-converged environment. So, I also mentioned that uh, there's data management, data cloud management built in uh, to the DVX. Uh, and so a couple of points there. Of course, uh, you want to manage your VMs. You want to, uh, you know, administrators today want to keep the focus on the applications. 
which are really delivering the value for their organizations and spend as little time as possible uh, managing the storage artifacts. So uh, in the DBX, there's no LUNs or volumes really to manage. Uh, instead, uh, data management is done at uh, a VM granularity. But a challenge with that is there's a lot more VMs than there ever were LUNs or volumes. And so managing them individually can be a challenge. And the DBX addresses this through this really cool uh, approach uh, called a protection group uh, with dynamic policy binding. So what is a protection group? A protection group is a set of VMs all snapped consistently. So all the VMs in, in a protection group uh, have crash consistent uh, snapshot across them. They get replicated uh, together as a group. And there's one snapshot and replication policy with snap retention policy that applies to all of the snapshots created for uh, that protection group. Now, you can add uh, VMs manually to a protection group, and you have that grain, uh, fine grained control if you want it. But uh, in many cases, uh, the dynamic policy binding can really simplify that process. So you define a query, uh, say, based on uh, the VM's name, like SQL star, which wants to pick up all SQL databases one, two, three, four, or maybe you want to have a prod, star prod star, which would pick up all production VMs, or star test star for all test VMs, and treat them uh, together. So every, uh, if you define a protection group with that kind of a query, every time the snap is created for that protection group, it'll go out run the query, find the VMs that match, uh, and then snap them all together. So a really cool part of this is if you go and create another VM, it can automatically be added to a protection group. You don't have to go in and individually uh, add it. So you get that scalability of management um, that comes with uh, this approach. So. Another aspect of data management, of course, is securing data. And uh, so a really cool feature of the DBX is, in an industry first, is blanket encryption, which allows end-to-end -end encryption in combination with uh, data reduction techniques. That is, you can compress and dedupe the data, but still have it encrypted and do it in a way where the data is encrypted in use uh, on the host, encrypted in the flash on the host, encrypted in flight as it travels to the data node uh, from the host, and also, of course, encrypted at rest inside of the data nodes. And it does this all by leveraging uh, the encryption uh, instructions in the Intel processors so uh, that you barely, there's barely a measurable impact on performance, and also there's no hardware dependency. You don't need any self-encrypting drives. And uh, to further simplify the whole process, there's a key manager uh, built right in uh, to take care of that. So with blanket encryption, you have uh, you have end-to-end -end encryption data in use, in flight, and at rest. Uh, and completely independent of uh, spe specific hardware. Uh, lastly, let me just cover the, you know, the DVX uh, is one component of a larger data cloud, right? So it's what hosts individual VMs, makes them run fast, makes it easy to expand capacity. Uh, but really, uh, if you think about what uh, the goal of a data cloud, which is to make data uh, have a sort of infinite pool of capacity that is always available, that's available from anywhere and at high performance, right? You, so you have this sort of idealized cloud. Uh, but to implement it, you need a uh, solid building blocks with uh, 
sort of the for scale and for fault containment, right? You don't want the whole thing to come tumbling down at once. And that building blocks at Datrium is the DVX. Uh, and so over time, we will be uh, increasingly knitting these DVXs together into a data cloud that makes it easy to manage uh, within uh, the enterprise, but also that extends to virtual DVXs in the public cloud. Um, with this view, really, the cloud is the system, the DVX is the component, and the data management software uh, built in really ties it all together. That's Datrium in a nutshell. Thank you very much for listening.